Hi everyone, welcome back to Advantage Receiver. I'm Sarah Stone, I'm the CEO of the WTCA, filling you in on everything that's going on with the WTCA and what's been happening with tennis around the world. Seems to be conference season at the moment, well part of the conference season. Evolve 9 had a great event in Orlando with Mike Barrell. Shout out to their team, they did great things for coaches, teaching them all about working with 10 and under kids. I know a lot of my friends were out there and had a great time. We've got Tennis House has a conference in New Orleans coming up this weekend. I'm doing a presentation. My good friend Emma Doyle will be there, Dr. Mark Kovacs, another opportunity for coaches to invest in their education. Followed on after that, we have the WTCA Summit in Naples. It's December 14. It's a one day event. If you're a WTCA member, you can head to the conference for free. It's a full day of education to thank you for being part of our network. If you're attending the ITA convention, which we are partnering with them on this event, where they're supporting act this time around. If you're attending the convention, you can also head to the WTCA Summit on December 14th, and that is also free to attendees of the ITA Summit. The season is fully done and dusted, wrapped up. Svitolina won the year-end championships. Great to see her coming through and doing so well at the end of the season. Hallett finished the year ranked world number one. And we've got the USA versus Czech Republic in the Fed Cup final this weekend. Let's see how they do. Can America go back to back under Captain Kathy? Who knows? But great to see the final event of the year in women's tennis, the big showcase being the Fed Cup, which is great for women because girls really love to be part of a team. Women love to be part of a team. So showcasing how good women's tennis is on the big stage for Fed Cup is a great way to end the year. I'm gonna have right now for you the tip of the day. So we talked about the slice backhand last week. This is along the same lines, but what we're gonna talk about today is how do we train our players to use the non-hitting hand on the backhand volley? Really simple tip. Get them in their ready position, tell them to actually let go of their hitting hand, for me it's the right hand, and to place the racket where we wanna put it when we're ready to make contact. I wanna volley from out in front, we want that non-hitting hand on the throat to be out in front. So they can place it there and as the ball comes, they can have this hand quite close by. They can put their hand on the racket, go forward and punch their volley. So it actually shows them where do they wanna be in space. If it's a high volley, if it's a low volley, where should this hand actually be? So by separating the hands, they can get the idea on what is the supporting role of the non-hitting hand. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Hope to see a few of you at the uh, Naples Summit and have fun out on the court wherever you are.